I'm going to tell you a story. We have a serial killer in our midst. As I'm sure you have heard, an artist and her husband were found murdered in their home this morning. The police claim they have no leads at this time. Two days ago, the body of a yet unidentified man was found downtown near Union Station. He had been stabbed. Yesterday, a young woman was found in her apartment. She had been strangled. So, how do I connect a stabbed, vagrant, a poor, strangled young girl and two dead hipsters together? Well, in a word, food. See, all the victims had just eaten a meal. Their last supper, if you will. For in the hand of the first victim, they found the remains of a sandwich. Spicy chicken salad with fruit and nuts and served on artisan bread. Food prepared with care, with skill, with taste. The girl in her apartment had just finished a romantic pasta dinner for two. And the artist and her husband had just shared a beautiful meal of Indian cuisine. And I think that all of these meals were prepared by the same person. And I can profile him for you. He's very meticulous. He's very clean, as a chef should be. He takes great care with his ingredients and with the tools he cooks with and kills with. He needs to have everything just so. The look, the feel, the taste, the smell. Don't ask me how I know these things. He's out there crying for help because he can no longer help himself. Our killer, our ghoulish gourmet, our bon viant of violence, our connoisseur of carnage, our last supper killer. We need to take a break and pay some bills. When we get back, we'll take some of your calls. Nick Black, and you're listening to The Dark Side with Nick Black.